Okay, welcome back, and I've been busy demolding <laughs> these tapes. Uh, this one was very dirty. The case was dirty. I had to clean it inside and out. Uh, see how it come out. Let's take it out of there. Might help. Maybe do a bit more, <laughs> a few more passes, but it's hard to tell because the uh, the window had mould on it as well, and it, this was the worst out of the lot. So you can see, you know, cleaning does work. I haven't actually tried them in the, the player yet. I'm not going to put them in, in my good VCR. I'm going to put them in my older one, which is a. Uh, Yeah, it's just easier to open and access everything to, to clean out if need be. Or if they get stuck or, or break, because I've had some problems with this this one here. The tape actually broke. It was, um, you know, I tried, tried to clean it and the tape was just stuck to itself or something. It just literally... Um, peeled off like you know when you're doing there uh, trying to get some cling film and you get that little edge bit that bloody that stays attached so when you rip it that builds up anyway yeah it went like that the tape bloody annoying and it was hard to find where the, the actual tape was to uh, unspool it and reattach it which I did with just sellotape as you can see here there's some sellotape holding the inner plastic together because I had to take it off the spool and it broke and sort of shattered into two bits so I've sort of glued and taped it back together so as you can see the tape if you go back to the other video you can probably see the difference it's a lot cleaner and I say I haven't tried them in the video player yet but I'm sure they'll be fine um, I've run out of uh, alcohol so I'll have to I've got some more on the way and uh, I'll probably give them another clean at some point. This is another one I had to take off the inner part of the spool to get to this section of tape because I say the tape actually broke in a really awkward way and I've actually lost a little bit of the start of the tape. Hopefully it's just there uh, like the intro or maybe a trailer, part of a trailer's missing. But a lot of these films, they just start straight away. There's no trailers. <laughs> They're very low budget. I don't even know what that company is. What is it? Anybody know that logo? But hopefully, it's salvageable. And um, maybe it won't be the best viewing uh, experience, but at least be able to see so now we come to this box here that has been sitting here since <laughs> you can see the date on it 20 uh, 2022 <laughs> 09 uh, 13th of the 9th 22 that was posted uh, I probably got it about three or four days later and since then it's been sitting there sealed <laughs> And it has mouldy tapes in it, that's why I've been avoiding it. So let's venture together and see what awaits. I'm not going to cut myself, I'm not going <laughs> to rush this time, I've got plenty of time on the memory card. Let's see what awaits. Maybe I should be masked up for this and get the blue gloves on, the Smurf gloves. Okay. 
Oh dear. Bin bag job. <laughs> doesn't look, doesn't bode well, does it? Maybe I should take this outside. <laughs> you want to take this outside? I think maybe I should. You can see, packed pretty well. Can't complain about the packing, but the bin bag with the mold, probably not the best idea. Okay, let's set that down. See what you can see what I see here. Oh, maybe not. Trying to balance the camera precariously on top of a tape doesn't always work. Okay, I think we're safe. All right, let's cut. And expose the filth. And if it is bad, I might pause the video here and uh, take them outside. Because I don't want the spores getting on everything else. Oh, I forgot. I, I totally forgot what ones I ordered here. So as you can see, some of the titles there maybe. Starflight 1. Somebody was selling this and I got outbid on it. And uh, it wasn't mega money. But um, then I saw this lot come up. And there was a few in here that interested me. So... Is that one with Lee Majors, famous for the six million dollar man, and uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Oh my god, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. But we may have the technology to rebuild it. So we got that one. This is the one that finally. Give me the kick up the arse to um, unbox these. Um, Captain Adam was uh, doing a video on this recently. Very interesting. Was never a big fan of this uh, guy. I keep wanting to call him Reg Varney, but he's not. It's um, Jim Varney, I think. Yeah, Jim Varney. We had Reg Varney, you had Jim. <laughs> Anybody from the UK will be familiar with Reg Varney if they're of a certain age on the buses. But uh, yeah, I've never, never been a big fan of Ernest from what I've seen of him. But this, from what Captain Adam showed, looks interesting enough to, for a watch and for me to get at these mouldy tapes and try and salvage them. Hopefully this one ain't too bad. And yeah, he's it's pretty much a bore fest, <laughs> but has some good ideas like um, this maniacal character basically wants to get uh, money eradicated. So, and I think he succeeds, spoiler alert, but uh, it's just too long. Oh, god, look at the state of the tape. Uh, I'll say that the Star Flight one, one looks worse. But there's the tape anyway. Even if it doesn't play, or I can't get it to a playable condition, at least I've got, you know, the case. I can clean it up. And it's a nice display thing. Next one we've got is uh, Mad Dog 2, starring Bruce Barron and Romano Christoph. Never heard of them. And it's on Canon, so that's cool. It's an ex-rental by the looks of it. Looks cheap as chips and probably crap. Made in 1984. And it's all there, uh, looks like it's in um, Spanish or Italian or something. Un policia, un store a carta cabal. Oh, whatever, Spanish. Okay, from Video Vision. Let's have a look. Oh my god, look at the state of it. I know 
uh, video Mikey's watching this, he'd be probably jumping on his unicorn right now and getting out the, the Lysol or whatever they use over there. We use Domestos, <laughs> thick bleach. Right, so there's another mouldy one. I think they all are mouldy, it's just varying degrees of mould. This one looks like quite a rare one. I think they all are quite rare. It's just obviously who really wants to deal with these things except people like me. <laughs> who, you know, for somebody that's quite a germaphobe and, you know, I like things to be quite clean, I can be quite a mucky bastard. Uh, I don't mind getting my hands dirty sometimes. But, um, yeah, I, I don't really like these things. They kind of give me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. Just the look of them. And then cleaning them, you, you've got to maybe wear a mask, which I, I started doing last night, and then I, it just, I hate having masks on, so I took it off. Just feels like it's restricting my breathing, even though it's probably not. It's it's probably protecting my lungs from some unknown bacteria that lives on tapes and turns you into some sort of tapoid bloody video drone type shit. So here we got a familiar face at last. We've got um, Donald Pleasance. And this is Gold of the Amazon Women, an Alfred Leon or Leone film. Again, these films are probably not the best. And um, you, know, you can probably pick them up fairly cheap. But I got this bundle for, I can't even remember. It was, it was cheap as chips, as David Dickinson would say. But... Everything has its price, and the prices I've got to deal with that. Is this is this video gold, or is this a video? This is truly a video nasty, isn't it? Oh God! So yeah, this might be triggering for some people. Seeing all these neglected tapes but you know trying to do my bit trying to save them for posterity here we got the virgin wife how does a husband find his get up and go when it's got up and gone <laughs> know how he feels and here you go adults only bit of a uh, blue for the dads oh yes i've picked up a few blueies lately and they're really really bad but you know they're enjoyable up to a point, uh, just seeing how far we've come or how far we've descended into nastiness. Um, so yeah, you can tell it's going to be crap. The cases of it broke there as well. Oh my god, that's uh, that's pretty bad. But yeah, I will. I don't think anybody would want to watch me cleaning all these tapes. I've shown before how to do it, and there's other people that show it better how to do the cleaning process. And probably better than better than me, because I've I'm a little bit gung ho when it comes to these things, and sometimes they end up doing more harm than good, like snapping tapes. Yeah, it's hard to film and get everything going. It probably take a good few hours to do all these. I mean, I done three tapes last night, and that took me a good few hours. So, and this one, it's not too bad. I mean, people will say that's not too bad. That's 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 effed up. Um, you know, you get a few little spots and stuff, and they're usually not too bad. This. We'll probably clean that pretty well. Um, and the thing is, I didn't really follow the tutorials out there. What you're supposed to do is take the 
the cassette out, take the reels out and then clean. If you can get access to this, the, the top layer of this tape here. Sometimes you can't because they've got that plastic cover covering it. But um, if you can, clean off the surface mould and then put it in the machine and run it and then just hold cotton swabs or whatever with alcohol against the tape and they do come up clean and uh, the ones I've done before have been playable so you know some people be like oh you're crazy sticking that in your in your video but nothing lasts forever and these things uh, even if it's just to keep for the artwork I think there's some cool ones there so yeah any, anybody seen any of these films Doctor Otto, I know Captain Adam has. Um, that one and that one's the ones I'm looking forward to seeing most. And uh, maybe that one. What's that even called? Sinai Commandos. The story of the Six Day War. Yeah, it looks okay. Raphael Nuzbum. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. Take it easy. And I'll let you see what these look like after a cleaning uh, when I get the alcohol, which should be a couple of days. So next week sometime you might see these all cleaned up. All brand new and sparkly. Sparkly and glowing. Mr. Gone now. Bye. <laughs>